Hello, I'm Compton Broadcast Gaming, and this is my Spenny Moore FC complete playthrough on Football Manager 2018. Why I'm pointing at the screen, I don't really know. You're just going to have to take it as it comes. I'm one of the people that moves their hands around. I get very, I feel very good, like, touchline manager. I'm very animated. You get there, you get there, you get there. Lionel Messi, why are you playing centre defensive? Like, why? You're striker, mate. Even though you're actually meant to be a right winger. But why are we talking about Lionel Messi when we're spending more FC? Mm. Is it a sign of things to come? I think not. <laughs> so then, first question I'm going to tackle, which I ask myself, why spend more? Now, this probably won't sound as good as it does to me, and I find it quite amusing. Basically, last year, my cousin, my cousin is a Charlton fan, basically, to back up a little bit. My cousin's a Charlton fan, and he called me. Said, what are you doing this weekend? I said, nothing. Peterborough haven't got a game on. It's been called off. So he said, why don't you, why don't you come along to Corby? Because he, live he lives in Corby. So he said, why don't you come along to watch Corby, the Corby game? Because I'm going there. It's Charlton haven't got a game on. So I said, all right then. Let's do that. Obviously, I didn't think to look on, look on the internet. But actually, what happened was Charlton didn't have a game on. Now, what he said was we were going to watch Corby versus Spennymore. So we did that and he told me that and then we ended up going to Northampton and watching Northampton versus Charlton. I mean, I absolutely hate uh, Northampton, obviously being a Peterborough fan, they're one of our main rivals. So I don't know, it, it doesn't it doesn't actually sound that good. But I've just always kind of really liked Spennymore ever since. Like I've followed their results and they're one of sort of my not my favourite teams, obviously, but they're sort of one of the teams that you look out for when the results when it's like five thirty, and you're flicking through the results. But I thought while I was deliberating and deciding, I was going to do an AC Milan career mode, but I thought no, I'm going to go lower down and then I'm going to build up because I think they're the sort of best best sort of playthroughs on Football Manager and the ones that I've really enjoyed are the sort of non-league ones. So you you're looking at the likes of. Lelou Joey's got the non-league to legend. Uh, Dr. Benji's got Thames FC. Love that. I even I even got the database and did did my own Thames FC. I'll put a photo in of how uh, shockingly I'm doing. We don't need to talk about that though, do we? But no, I'm really enjoying. I, I'm really enjoying the sort of non-league working the way up. Um, sort of playthroughs. Uh, Dr. Benji did one last year with Salford and that was really good really enjoyed that that was long winded that was sort of not long winded but it was long it was 200 on episodes let's see how it goes you I've not really got a major style on Football Manager I'm sort of I like to take it as it comes so if if I find the players that I you normally find that you have to get a formation that matches the players, whereas play uh, compared to players that match the formation, if that makes sense, because you don't want to be bringing in players to play a certain formation. You look at the players you've got and then play a formation around that, if that makes sense, because otherwise you end up spending tons of money for no reason when you've got decent players there normally. Okay, um, I didn't really want that set up. No thanks. Uh, yeah, if you think so, friendlies. I'm just going through this quickly. Uh, I don't really want to do the training either, or all the sort of friendlies, what else, opposition instructions, it's not really something that interests me, anything to do with this, nope, that's fine then, I want to be able to do team talks, I want to be able to bollock them, so we're on £240 a month, a week, sorry, Jesus, £800 a month really, isn't it, is it, no, £900 a month, not tons of money, but enough to buy an average house. Rent an average house, sorry. Not going to be buying a house on uh, £800 a month anytime soon. So, yeah, we haven't. Okay, that's good to see. I don't like to see come in and see tons of players already out on loan. Uh, I started doing Milan and I recorded an episode and it didn't feel like I could take control of it because they already had like 30 players out on loan. Well, more. Well, it was kind of like 15 players out on loan and sort of 10 or so players brought in with some coming in on a on a 
permanent deal, sorry, after six months and it had already been arranged. So I thought that there was actually kind of no point in me doing that as it wasn't going to be my complete sort of playthrough. So our fierce rivals then, we've got Bishop Auckland. I don't think we're going to be playing them anytime soon. And then we've got Darlington. Okay. Any particular reason? Let's have a look. They were founded in 1931. Playing the Manorama National North Side. They booked it by winning promotion net last year. Yeah. Play at Brewery Field. And possesses poor training facilities. Yeah, that's fine. We don't. We can deal with that. As a club which is enjoying its best ever success. Their last competition win came as recently as 2014. That was the FA I presume. And they finished runners up in the English eighth tier for the only, for the only time in twenty seventeen. They finished runners up in the eighth tier in twenty sixteen. So basically, the last f two years they've gone up, really, haven't they? Okay, interesting. Okay then, uh, I'm just gonna uh, yeah yeah. I'm not gonna go in and ask for. I'll do all this. I'll do all this off camera sort of thing I don't really want to be doing that spending more are pleased to announce to confirm sorry the appointment of Luke Compton as our new manager good to know I've got the job we're starting to get a bit worried okay then let's have a look actually at the competition and see where they're expecting us to finish so we're expected to finish around 16th I think spending more in real life are actually around here I'm gonna have to have a look at that quickly the eighth, which is just outside the playoff, if I'm correct. Yes, I am correct. Come on, spend more. I reckon is it actually going to affect anything? So we're not actually going to get any more chances, of it? Okay, so I reckon we just go for the lowest, the, the, the lowest really, because it's not going to affect much. Our finances then. So I've only got fourteen thousand pounds in the budget. Jesus. Have we got no debts? No, no debts. No, any sponsors? No, not really. Eight thousand pounds wages. We're looking at. This is sort of yeah, it's a bit boring that stuff, isn't it? Uh, first thing we want to do: get an affiliate. It's as, as a non-league team, it's one of the easiest ways of bringing in players. Right, let's have a quick look at the squad, and then I might leave it there. So they reckon a 4 4 2, okay. Now let's actually have a look. So, land this post the yard. Oh, okay. So underrated, but actually, this is so important just to make sure that everyone's in the right sort of position that they play in. Not only because it makes them better, but the star rating goes up so much more. By the look of it, I'm thinking we might need a left, a right wing, a, a, a right midfielder. Sorry. Well, we've definitely got a good striker. Okay, let's have a quick look then. So we've got eight players, two of which are running out of contracts. We've got right mid. We've got a lot of right mid. Let's have a look. What do they think? Defense. Yeah, that's possibly is a concern because we've got three players. <laughs> Jesus, it's gonna be it's gonna be defenders, isn't it? Really, that we need. And then we've got a lot of midfielders and we've got a lot of strikers. I think it's going to be defence. So it's going to be you probably need another another centre back, a left back, and a right back. So let's see let's see how long that's going to take. That's to the 14th, the 13th. So I know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to skip forward to the 13th. Then we'll see who the senior affiliate is and then we'll see who we can bring in on loan. So I'm going to just skip forward to them. Like. Right then, so it's actually been 24 hours now because I didn't really want to record the other bit last night because I was tired and wanted to go to sleep. So I have 
basically I have brought some players in, but after about two days of being allowed a senior affiliate, they came back and told me that they couldn't actually find anybody. As you can probably see here, it's cancelled. It started then, and two days later, it got cancelled. So I I edited the transfer budget so we could get about three thousand. So we brought in one player on the permanent and brought in two players on a loan. And as you can see, the first player up here is Ten Terry Golfbath. Now we don't need to tell the uh, spending more fans who he came from because he actually came from Darlington, I think. So obviously they're kind of rivals. So we'll start with him. Good little player actually. He's a left back who can also play centre mid, but he will be playing for me as a left back. Let's see, can he? Okay, so so we're looking. He's markings A. He's tackling A. His positioning and teamwork both nine and ten and nine respectively. Determination twelve, concentration eight, stamina eleven, strength nine, natural fitness is fourteen, corners is thirteen, crossing is eleven, dribbling is eight. So you really you look at there's no there's nothing lower than sort of a six really well there's only one six and then the rest are sevens eights nines with the odd thirteen in there fourteen in there so really he's he's really good he's twenty seven years old which probably means he won't improve that much but I reckon he could do a solid job for us this year definitely he played one hundred and fifty one games for Darlington and scored how many did he score 41 in the process oh the left back that's pretty good so i'm probably presuming they played him as a center mid a lot of the time but he will be playing as a backup left back for me with the option of playing as a center mid but it doesn't really look like he can <laughs> so definitely it will just be a um, a left back option so who else have we bought in we bought in two loans uh jake thomas and kieran harrison uh, Jake Thomas is a right back, sorry. So we brought in him as a right back and a left back. So he's he's not really that great, but he is will, will be a backup and he will only be playing the odd game for us if we have an injury. So these sort of are, are kind of worrying to me. But more the dribbling is a worry to me and the strength is only one. So that's what that's the sort of reason he won't be playing. But as a youth player, he's got a lot of potential. So, you never know. If he does alright this season, we might be able to get him in next season. But he isn't costing us anything because that's alright. We're not worrying about that. And then, the last player is Kieran Harrison. He's a centre-back with some great stats. He's got 14 jumping. Uh, natural fitness is 13. Aggression is 13. Determination 14. Positioning 10. Tackling 10. Heading 15. So, yeah. And he isn't going to have to do much dribbling or any crossing, really. So, that isn't... That isn't a much of a worry to me. Uh, composure is the worrying thing, only being five. Doesn't need flair. Off the ball, maybe it's a bit worrying. Positioning, ten. So he he's looks all right, to be fair. He's, a, he's only young, he's only 18. Once again, he isn't costing me anything. So can't really complain. So there hasn't actually been much change to the team because only, only Kieran Harrison's actually made it into the team because we've got backup. We've got better options in the right back and left back option left back positions which was always kind of the aim because I don't really need them as first choice they're always going to be backup choice but I'm pretty happy with the team the only thing I'm thinking is maybe we could get a striker in it's the only thing I'm thinking let's have a look let's have a look at one let's have a look at how much We've got seven players who can play striker to an average rate, to an average rating. So I reckon this team actually might be all right. Um, this one have gone up, but I'm kind of expecting. I'm expecting. I'm expecting to get mid table, top ten. I reckon I should be able to get definitely. I'm not expecting to be worrying about hitting the relegation sort of area. We shouldn't really be in a relegation battle because we're a decent team, and they're seventh in real life. So eighth, I think, in real life. So it's not really a worry to me, but we'll see how it goes. I think that's going to wrap up the episode. I will bring out an episode tomorrow where that will have the games in it, so the first two games of the season. Yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Share it with all your friends, your family. Post it everywhere because, you know, they want to come and check out me. No, I'm not being big-headed. But, yeah, go do that, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Peace.